In class, we have two representatives of the division Ascomycota. Here is one of the two representatives. This is the genus Morchella, which is commonly called a morel. Now, morels are delicacies. They're really, really good to eat, and they often come out after burns and are actually found quite a bit locally here. The prepared slide we have in class is a cross-section through the cap of this morel. And that cross-section then will have little cup-like structures and you'll be able to see the reproductive spores inside the morel. Okay, so we're just going to quickly look at the slide here. So this is a slide, I have it on the dissecting slope. So I'm just gonna move it over. Um, this is Morcella, which is um, an ascomycete. So this is a cross-section through the mushroom head of a morel or a morcella. And so this is called a cup fungus. And each of these little um, indentations then is a cup. And I'm going to then just zoom in on here so you can see closer and closer where we're looking at here. And we'll go ahead and focus this. Okay, and we're going to be looking at this spores right on the inside edge of one of these cups. All right, I'm going to transfer this to a compound scope and we'll check it out underneath the compound scope. So I've now transferred this to compound scope. We're under the 4x objective, so 40x magnification. And we can see the cup part of this mushroom and lining that then our sexual spores and that's what we want to look at to identify this guy. So here we'll focus in again. We can start seeing all those little fingers there. Each of those fingers then is called an ascus. An ascus then when it is mature is going to have eight spores inside. Okay, and the spores are called ascus spores. And we'll just focus here. Ooh, there's a nice one. All right. And so right there we have a mature one, that big green one there, and you can see if we count the spores, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a nice ascus with eight spores, and those spores are ascospores, and they are the product of one round of meiosis creating four spores, then going through one round of mitosis creating eight spores.